The question is, which antihypertensive drug is used in patients with diabetes? Okay, so uh, hypertension is very common in patients with diabetes, especially patients with type 2 diabetes. So there is a very different pathogenic mechanism that has been attributed to the two of them, linking the two of them. But the basic thing concept that you need to remember is diabetes causes some form of uh, release of inflammatory mediators and because it causes inflammatory release of these inflammatory mediators it causes some form of vessel damage and as a result the vessels end up constricting arteries end up constricting and as a result of which the patient patient's uh, blood pressure rises the other is the uh, um, microvascular nephropathy that occurs because of which the, there is kidney damage and because of this kidney damage there is an increase in blood pressure these are the two important things that you need to remember about patients who are diabetic and because of which it leads to hypertension. Now, when you have a patient who is diabetic and who has to be given a, a drug, a drug that can deal with hypertension, you need to remember that the patient is already diabetic and is going to be on oral hypoglycemics or insulin. In addition to that, you have to combat the hypertension. So, in order to combat the hypertension, you should give a drug that does not inhibit the mechanism of action or the action of your oral hypoglycemics or uh, insulin. So, the American Diabetic Association along with your hyper American Heart Association, both of them have come together to put forth an entire criteria or a step by step process to how as to how you are supposed to tackle the hypertension in patients with diabetics. See, Recommended for treatment of confirmed hypertension. So, the patient knows that he has hypertension and it has been confirmed by a physician with diabetes. So, initial BP between 140 by 90 and this is a very important thing. Patients who are diabetic have to maintain their blood pressure in the range of 140 by 90. That is extremely significant because if that is not man managed, then it can lead to kidney damage. Okay, so start one agent. So one agent usually most of the times, more often than not, your first agent is going to be either a, an ACEI or an ARB that is an angiotensin receptor blocker or an enzyme inhibitor. Okay, so you give ACEI or ARB. Sometimes even calcium channel blockers can be given to such patients. Then if there is no albuminuria, then you continue with these. If albuminuria starts, then you start give the patient either ACEI or ARB. You assess the blood pressure and you control, check, monitor the blood pressure of the patient and you keep assessing it on a periodic basis. If you realize that the blood pressure is well below 140 by 90, then you continue the ACEI or you continue the ARB. However, if the... Uh, agent or rather if the patient's blood pressure is not coming down then you st you give uh, along with ACI and ARB you either give a CCB or a diuretic for example if I or you give the complementary drug for example if I have given the patient enalapril then and the blood pressure has not come down then I can either give the patient losartan or I can give the patient varapamil or I can give the patient spironolactone so any one of these can be given then again you assess and you check if the blood pressure again does not come down then you, con uh, you consider addition of mineral corticoid receptor antagonist or you refer the patient to a cardiologist so that the cardiologist can make a better uh, diagnosis or rather the, uh, he can take a better call about what is going to be the treatment plan and how to modify the drugs so that the blood pressure comes down for this patient. And the patient has to be monitored once every three months. The first month is important. After that, you have to measure the patient. You have to monitor the patient every three, six, nine, and twelve months. So you keep doing this every periodic basis. And accordingly, you change or you modify the drug therapy. Okay.